What's up guys, it's Jay, more than to kill, and I'm back here on Destiny, and today, we're gonna kill two birds with one stone, by not only taking a quick first look at a brand new exotic weapon exclusive to PSN, coming in the Taken King expansion, but we're also gonna go ahead and take a look at the easter egg that inspired it, and that of course, is the Jade Rabbit exotic scout rifle, so, at first glance, the Jade Rabbit looks admittedly kind of like a child's toy. <laughs> but upon further inspection, we'll find that this weapon is anything of the sort with a really long and thick, sturdy looking barrel. This big guy is. Oh, it's sure to pull you through some really tight situations. <laughs> Seriously though, it has a long stout muzzle and it's being described by Bungie as an exotic scout rifle sporting a 13 shot magazine and a sniper like scope. The Jade Rabbit is a lethal combination of kinetic power and long range accuracy. So. I'm guessing that this gun will function somewhere along the lines of the G11 from Black Ops 1. Those of you guys out there that do remember playing Call of Duty Black Ops, there was an assault rifle that had a sniper-like scope and it had the versatility of an assault rifle but the long-range capabilities of a sniper and it was just absolutely amazing and decimated everything that came near it. I can't wait for this weapon. So, the awesome thing about this is that this gun recalls back an easter egg put in Destiny very early by Bungie, and that of course is the Jade Rabbit insignia emblem that you get from picking up two golden chests on the moon, tying all the way back in Chinese culture, and just like anything throughout any type of history or culture that's being passed down, by word of mouth, there are multiple different translations of the story, my favorite of which says that the rabbit who promised to live a charitable life gave up his own life by throwing himself into a fire in order to feed a hungry holy man that he met in his travels. And since the man was a holy man, the rabbit went unharmed. But the holy man was moved by the act, and he burned the rabbit's image into the moon's surface for all to see his honorable sacrifice, which is absolutely an amazing story. Now, there's also another story that says there's a white rabbit up there stirring up some elixir of life that grants the drinker a longer than average life, and the ability to resurrect himself, which kind of seems more likely to be the version that Bungie was going for, but, uh, I prefer the honest, charitable rabbit who, uh, threw his carcass onto a burning fire to feed a holy man. That's an absolutely amazing story, isn't it? I think it is. <laughs> so, my name is Jay. What did I have to kill? I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, and subscribe. If you could leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it because it gives me motivation to make more videos for you motherfuckers that watch my motherfucking videos. Whichever story that Bungie made this easter egg off of, and also this weapon, it's, it's, it's really awesome to see that it got a mention inside the game. I really like to see easter eggs and, you know, things that tie back to things in real life, but let, let's be honest. All y'all motherfuckers, when you, when you heard G11 for Black Ops, you stopped listening to what I said and you just went and started fucking beating your meat, because that gun was absolutely the fucking... Shit. <laughs> so, my name's Jay. We're gonna have to kill. Thanks for watching, and I'm gonna see you guys later.